What's going on, man? Guys, gals, all that good stuff. Got a treat tonight for you tape worms. Got some tapes been stacking up over here. I want to show you guys. All of them are good. Some are better than others, but all of them are good. In the background, Abscess Lord in Coffinate Split. Got this one in the mail today from the boy Eric over there. The Life After Death. Um, Abscess Lord, two piece from Victoria, Australia. Uh, you get, uh, they do three tracks on here. Then in Coffinate is uh, from Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, a four piece. They do four tracks on here. Uh, this came out late last year, like December, on Life After Death, uh, LAD 12-1. Uh, Eric still got some copies. Comes on a cool colored vinyl. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Let's jump in on this sets. Hope y'all had a good day, man. Monday here, first day of the work week. It went just like a typical Monday, too. Let's jump right in. Enough about that old crazy stuff. Let's get in some good stuff. Forget all that working and stuff like that. Check this out. Weeping. Let me get it out of this shiny case. Weeping. Check out that art there. Can't figure out who did it, but uh, cool stuff. The name of this one is, there's the guys there, Ethereal Suffering in the Light of God. Um, this is an EP 2021, come out this year on Frozen Screams imprint. Did this cassette, Night Shift put out a vinyl version. Can't hardly see it, so red, see through there. Uh, if you look on Metal Archives, it's got them listed as um, death metal slash hardcore slash power violence. Um, I don't know. You check it out and you tell me what you think it is. These guys are from New Jersey. Three piece, you get five tracks. Um, almost 12 minutes of music. They had a demo in 2020. And then they did this. Um, faster than mid pace most of the time. Um, then it'll slow down and have some doomy parts in it. Uh, killer drumming on here. The, the vocals remind me of um, um, Garrett from Maul. You know, it's got that just flamethrower all in vocals, you know, busting the blood vessels in their eyes when they're just giving it all they got. And then sometimes it's got a different vocal on it. It's got like a hardcore vocal that will remind you a little bit of Chase from uh, Gate Creeper. But it's good stuff, man. You need to check it out if you hadn't heard from them. That's Weeping, uh, three piece from New Jersey. Here's one a little bit different. I can't get my head quite wrapped around it, but I like it. Severed Boy, Tragic Encounters. Um, this one here is an EP, came out this year on Caligari. Um, they're classified as black, death, doom. I guess they get the blackened part maybe from the vocals. Uh, it's got a little blackened tinge to it every now and then. These guys are from Boston, Massachusetts, the two-piece. Uh, on here you get five tracks. Uh, 19 and a half minutes of music thereabouts. They had a single in uh, 2020 called Coughing Up the Night and then this um, Born Out of the Quarantine uh, you know they they got their own sound you, you, it's something you need to check out uh, the one of the tracks on there I think it's um, Agony and Despair is a little over three minutes it's kind of like a drone track that's got a uh, sample from uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein I believe it is I read up on it uh, if you go on their band camp site, they got a little article there on the write-up like you know they always have. It tells how they came up with the uh, the name and the lyric lyrics that they do. But um, 
you know, I never, I'm, you know, I listen to death metal. I really ain't into lyrics, but uh, but if you want to check the lyrics out, they're there. Um, it's like I say, it's a unique sound, a little bit of everything, and uh, all of it's good. I'd be interested in to see uh, what these guys are going to do next. Severed Boy, check them out. Caligari's got them. Uh, next, as my main man Liam says. The new wave of British death metal. Sewer Fiend, check this out. Echoes from the Cistern. Um, 2021 release on dry cough. Man, I was so glad to find some dry cough stuff. It's hard to get over here, man. Rotting Head did this art. This is, uh, if you're not familiar with these guys, Sewer Fiend's a two piece from Manchester, England. Um, you get three tracks, almost 20 minutes of music on this EP. This is their debut EP. This is all these guys have done so far. Um, musically, uh, the, the, the title track uh, comes in with this, it's about a minute long little uh, clean guitar intro. It sounds like a clean guitar with maybe some chorus and echo on it and it's just a little ditty. And then about the minute mark, just it just a wall of sound hits you, and it just continues on uh, for all three tracks. Check out uh, if you're just going to check one out. I mean, my suggestion would be just buy it. I mean, you, trust me. I mean, you know, eight dollars. You pay that much for a happy meal, man. Just go buy the thing. But if you want to check a track out, check out Pulsating Mass of Worms, and it sounds just like you would think it would sound. Good stuff. Talking about heavy. This one here is so heavy you can't hardly see the the art here. Uh, William Koloski. Koloski did this art. I don't know if you can see it or not. So, so like a dark purple skull there. Black Wound to the Endless Depths demo. Check that out, man. That is so cool. A dry Cough, another Dry Cough release. Uh, Death Doom from Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, there are three piece you get on, on this release. You get uh, you get five tracks, 27 minutes and 12 seconds of just crushing uh, Death Doom. I mean, it is heavy, heavy, heavy. They had uh, two other demos this year. One of them was out under the uh, band name Odium, and the other one was under a, a band name rotten incarnation but best i could tell it's the same guys uh then they did a split with um skull scepter super heavy super thick uh nasty deep vocals uh check out absence of will on here if you want to check one out great stuff you won't be you won't be disappointed you will not be disappointed now some boys from my home state florida boys Orlando, Florida's own. Check out that. Body Box. Rama Gutslaughter did this art. This is, uh, I don't know, maybe you'd call it a single teaser, maybe, hoping they have a full length come out. Um, it's according to where you look, what they call it. I call it a, a single, but it's got two songs on it. It's out on Maggot Stone. Um, death Metal. Metal Archives calls it brutal uh, death core, but. I don't get all that, man. I, you know, I think it's just death metal from Orlando, Florida. Uh, Body Box is a four piece, two tracks, uh, four minutes and 38 seconds. It's a quick listen. Um, you know, this year they had Through the Bonefire EP out, and then they did this thick, heavy, you know, uh, for a second you'll say, man, this is slam, but then it comes on. The second track has a hilarious intro, some young guys on there carrying on. It's on Spotify, man. Check it out. Just go ahead and send your money. And it says Maggot Stomp, man. What more do you want? You know what you're getting? We're acting crazy. Intestinal Hex. Check out this art, man. Check out this art. Art and logo by Rotting Head. Comes in this cool slipcase. I wish you could see it in all its glory, man. It's it's good stuff. It's real dark. Let me let me pull it out of here. Intestinal hex, the exalted chambers of abhorrence. Can you see that? I mean, it's 
it's just good. I know you guys have heard from about this. Everybody's seen and heard it. You know, it comes in this cool colored case here. Stump Grinder did it, man. You know it's cool. You know Stumpy does it right. Death Metal from Toronto, Ontario. One member, you know him, Daniel Bonifiglio. You'll know Daniel from Fumes or Grotesque Mass or Gut Void or uh, Infernal Infestation or Internal Infestation. Uh, eight tracks, almost 28 minutes of music. Super strong guitar work that you've come to expect from Daniel. I mean, just super strong. Um, the vocals almost have a blackened edge to them. The drums are tremendous. I don't know if they're programmed, if he's playing them or what. Either way, they're great. Uh, I mean, it's just good stuff, man. Check it out. Uh, Stumpy sold out, and I got a hold of him on Instagram, and he found me one and sent it to me. But now I think he's got another batch of them ran. Uh, go check out Stumpy. You need to show him some love anyway. He's a good guy, man. You got to love Stumpy. Solophus. Summon from the void. Man, you know I love Solithus. Um, this is the full length uh, reissued this year. Desert Wastelands came out originally 2013 on Memento More. Man, you. This is, boys are from Finland. Five piece, six tracks, 43 minutes, 22 seconds long. This art here is by Shagoth Kinetics, Death Doom at its finest. And you can look in the encyclopedia under Death Doom and see these dudes' pictures, man. This is Death Doom. This is what it's all about. It don't get no better than this. Um, formed in 2007. They did a demo in 2011. Check out those boys right there. Demo in 2011, then this full length and they've had two more full links since then. Uh, if you're a fan of Death Doom, you're gonna be a fan of these guys, I'm telling you. Uh, deep guttural vocals with an occasional scream, uh, heavy, thick guitars, rhythm sections like a brick wall, um, great production, great delivery. Solid. Talking about good. My friend Uriel, he knows I've been trying to collect all his stuff from all his bands and um, I was missing this one and he sent me an instant message that Goat Throne Records had two of them and I was able to get one. Man, I was tickled. This is 2018. The Wretched Path is the name of this one. Comes on this clear tape here. Uh, came out 2018, Death in Pieces Records and macabre in productions um, no nod to the art that i can see on there i don't know if uh, uriel did that or not he's capable of it uh, there's uriel and karina his wife there she does the bass he does the guitars the vocals and the drums uh, active since 2017 on this one you get eight tracks 35 minutes of music old school death metal at its finest any of his projects, man. I, I, you know, I'm a fan of Uriel. You know that. He did my logo for me, you know. Just a great guy, man. Diva Romania. Boris. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Here's one if you like Pacific Northwest death metal. Nora. Harbinger's the name of this one. Oh. 2021 on Rotted Life. Uh, Life After Death did the CD. Rotted Life did the cassette. You see the Rotted Life logo there at the bottom. You know Eric's, not Eric, um, I can't call his name. It, uh, Rotted Life's killing it. Eric's at Life After Death. My mind's about shot. Comes on this gold cassette here. Uh, this arch by Adam Kindred, Archaic Filth. This is a full length. These boys 
for a three piece from Seattle, Washington. There they are right there. Um, you get nine tracks, 27 and a half minutes of music. This is their second full length. Their first one's in 2020. They did no EPs, no demos. They just jumped into the business with full length releases and um, has that typical uh, Pacific Northwest sound, you know, that so many of those bands have. I mean, I, we all love it. It's just, it's great. Um, this one just seems to be recorded a little bit uh, quieter to me. I, when I say quieter, I mean, you know, if you had this on and then you put this on, you would have to turn the volume up a little bit. But but other than that, it's a great release. I don't know if the CD uh, is the same way or not. I've got the CD too. Eric sent me one of the CDs today in a package. I'm going to check that out from uh, Life After Death. But uh, check them out. You, you'll really enjoy that. Norah. Last but not least, I got another one from Stumpy. Uh, this is Call from Sub Subconscious Sorrow and Avidity. Um, this is a 2021 release on Repulsive Echo Records. Uh, the drawings on here are by Marcus Pretzel. This is Death Metal from Nuremberg, Germany. Uh, you, this is a six piece band. You get nine tracks and 50 minutes of music on this and the story behind these guys are split up they were formed in 93 they did a demo in 95 and a demo in 96 and then that was it repulsive echo came and grabbed this stuff up and put those two demos together on this comp comes with this really nice j card it's classic old school death metal. Hints of folk and doom in there from time to time. It's even got a flute in there, I think. It's a flute, a clarinet or a flute, something like that. Um, if you're a fan of uh, early 90s old school death metal, uh, you, you'll really enjoy this. Check it out. Call from Subconscious, a six piece from Nuremberg, Germany. That's it. That's it. Uh, man, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I wanted to have something. Over. I want to shout out to my buddy Kareem over in Dubai, United America, Arab Emirates. Man, I, I've, I've, since we started this channel, man, I've got friends all over the world. I don't even have friends in my own hometown. I got friends all over the world now. You gotta love it, man. Only in the the music world can you uh, span the globe span the globe y'all check some of this stuff out uh, I suggest them all you know some are better than others but all of them's good it's the good stuff baby we'll see y'all